Hello and welcome to the show. We start this week's Fell Race episode with Adam and Agron on a rather interesting racetrack. The two cars here racing against, not quite getting the best line across the jump. Amazingly, the Rhapsody being rolled over by an explosion, but still being okay to continue onwards. That's, I mean, that's a pretty strong, pretty strong Rhapsody. A Trixus 7 learns the dangers of the hills. Many cars have gone tumbling down these hills throughout, uh, throughout this series. The smallest correction to avoid splatting into the Baltic, and that is a very, very dead buffalo. Hordes on GTA 5 is trying to uh, deliver the prison bus. Police, of course, causing chaos, crashing into one another as he is swerving out of the way. A Prius drives underneath the prison bus, launching the bus for a roll. Actually explodes the Prius. I mean, it's a happy ending and there's a Prius on fire, but yeah, that's an impressive, impressive roll for the prison bus. Mustang Bugatti on Forza 7 with, well, this is an AI. The, the AI is driving this particular Ford. I'm not sure what event it is uh, It is going in. However, it falls over at a circuit that is not usual for cars to fall over. Vehicles don't tend to fall over at road lands, and normally Forza Force in the dry stops them from tumbling over, but this particular classic Ford has some interesting issues. Bottle of Nos on Project Cars 2 get things wrong in the Rallycross Honda. That is not the correct angle. For a rear wheel. That is <laughs> most definitely not the correct angle. Now I guess, technically speaking, you know, you clip a banking like that, you may possibly be able to bend and twist the wheels to end up in that sort of angle. The thing is, Project Cars is not designed to allow the vehicles to do this. So surprisingly, it is behaving fairly, well, I say fairly normally, it's kind of, it's driving around yeah a, a little bit strangely it's when it starts bouncing across on the uh, the grass that things get a little bit confusing it just, all of a sudden physics has decided that that wheel cannot last there for any longer and the best way to resolve that is to launch the car up into the air it's just it's, it's the best physics physics solution just throw cars up skywards and it goes back down and then it's fine again magically fixed it's definitely that's the physics solution and mechanicking all in one go there Timid nine tails on absolute drift is uh, heading around one of the night courses get things a little bit wrong is on the inside of the course and then manages to uh, wedge his car the front having got stuck underneath the uh, road the back is I guess the back wheels are still technically above the surface so he's <laughs> just stuck hanging by the back axle uh, there we go. On to a destiny next with Tom Nars and a Sparrow race that ends in many, many, many. We're still going. Many, many. And another one for good luck. Flips. And explosion. Not the greatest bit of bit of cornering from the Sparrow there. But uh, <laughs> rolls are good. Mr. Mayton 7 on Need for Speed. Payback with uh, Jess thinking the Mustang is a convertible. I'm not quite <laughs> sure what's going on with, uh, yeah, with, with Jess in that one. That's that's a strange, <laughs> strange glitch. Not seen that one before. I'm queasy on Need for Speed Payback, trying to uh, get away from well, the Far East Police Department. One of the uh, police cars has already gone for a roll. However, they are keen to get revenge on the Nissan as we head towards a hairpin. One of the police cars annihilates the player vehicle. Three rolls and then perfectly good to carry on. That was some serious Fail Race Police Departmenting right there. Nismo 400R on F1 2017 with the safety cars causing mayhem. Yep, that's three cars immediately into the back of the uh, the safety car. The Sauber managing to recover. The McLaren does recover and then immediately destroys his car. I don't know what it is with the safety cars. The safety cars of this game are the most dangerous thing in existence. So, yeah, the Sauber just clips it with the back and spins. The uh, <laughs> McLarens get stuck. I don't actually know if the first one breaks down completely there or not. Uh, it doesn't seem to get going again. I don't see it get going again. And then the one we're riding on board with here uh, takes out its front wheel on the back. Uh, yeah. 
Safety cars, nightmare. BC Carl on iRacing at uh, Charlotte with the Indy cars and everything has gone horribly, terribly, terribly wrong up ahead. Thankfully, he was far enough back and everybody was nice and sensible here in slowing down to avoid the wreck if they could. Because, of course, crashes at these sort of speeds at an oval uh, such as this, there's very little you can do when you're in the midst of all of that. You're going very fast and you just don't have the brakes to uh, try and avoid it. This is what actually went on further up. So cars battling too wide into the uh, final turn. Once ends up by the wall, it's kind of coming back down and they just can't get away as the cars are spiraling and twisting. The <laughs> one we're following here, someone scoops it up and spins it around. There's a purple and blue one going for a large number of tumbles across the infield there. That's a lot of cars down. That is a lot of cars down. The actual cause for this one was actually a bit of lag between the, the two vehicles, the kind of blue lightning car that we're following here. Never technically touches the car, but gets sort of shot back up into the wall. And as he's trying to regain control of it, it's just, yeah, too fast. And everybody in the wrong place. Finally, we have a G-Racer X on R-Factor with some GT cars having issues. The Ford, I think a wheel gets fired at it that disintegrates a lot of the front end of the Ford. It spins and rolls and tumbles and now ends up on the drag strip upside down, somehow picking up speed. Is the car? I think as the car's rocking, the wheels might technically hit the or get the hitbox of the floor, so it suddenly gets a huge amount of speed, very, very nearly wipes out and then promptly lands on a Subaru. We've got more rolls going on. It kind of flies itself across the tire bundle and rolls, and there's some spinning going on before it hits another bank, and will eventually, after a couple of rolls, end up, I guess, teleported back onto its wheels, and then is in the pit lane. I'm <laughs> <laughs> like, about four different parts of that could have been in an episode here. They just all happened to the same car within the other space of time. I assume it's the player uh, driving driving this one with the entrance into the pit lane there. But physics got very, very confused as to what to do with uh, that particular, particular Ford. That, though, is going to be it for this episode as ever. If you have clips you'd like to submit to this series, you can via our forums. There'll be a link in the description at the very top of the page is the FRS clip submission section. However, that is going to be it from me. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, uh, goodbye. Goodbye.